Have you ever wondered how the strokes of a paintbrush can unravel the deepest corners of the human mind? Welcome to our journey into the heart of this enthralling interplay between art and mental health. Art in its many forms has always been a mirror to the soul. It's a medium that allows us to express our deepest emotions, our fears, our joys, and our most profound thoughts. But it's more than just a medium of expression. It's a language, a form of communication that transcends the barriers of spoken words. Imagine a person who struggles to articulate their feelings verbally. Perhaps they're grappling with a mental health issue that makes it difficult for them to express their emotions. Now imagine them picking up a paintbrush, a pencil, or even a piece of clay. As they start to create, their hands become the voice they've been searching for, their artwork a testament to their inner world. This is the power of art, the ability to communicate without uttering a single word. It's a safe space, a refuge for those who find it hard to navigate the complexities of verbal communication. But the magic of art doesn't stop there. Creating art isn't just about expressing oneself, it's also an incredibly therapeutic process. Each brushstroke, each line drawn, each piece of clay molded, is a step towards self-discovery and healing. It's a form of therapy, a way to confront and manage feelings that might otherwise be overwhelming. Art therapy has been recognized by mental health professionals worldwide. It's used in various settings, from hospitals to rehabilitation centers, to help individuals cope with mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Art, in its many forms, is not merely about creating something beautiful. It's a lifeline, a means of understanding, and a pathway to healing. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. And as we delve deeper into this fascinating world, we realize that the connection between art and mental health is not just significant, it's indispensable. Art, in its many forms, is not merely about creating something beautiful. It's a lifeline, a means of understanding, and a pathway to healing. One cannot discuss the connection between art and mental health without mentioning the tormented genius, Vincent van Gogh. A Dutch painter from the late 19th century, van Gogh's work is as renowned for its emotional intensity and dramatic beauty as it is for the tragic life of the artist himself. Van Gogh's art is a vivid showcase of how one's mental state can influence their creative output. His works, imbued with bold colors and energetic brushstrokes, were not just products of his imagination, but also reflections of his inner turmoil. Dealing with severe mental health issues, including depression and psychosis, Van Gogh turned to painting as a means to cope, to express, and to understand his own mind. His unique style, now known as post-impressionism, was a significant departure from the artistic norms of his time. His use of bold, contrasting colors, his distinctive brushwork, and his ability to imbue everyday objects and scenes with deep emotional resonance all speak to a mind that saw the world differently. His art was his voice, a language he used to communicate his inner world, in ways words could not. Consider his most famous work, The Starry Night. The swirling vibrant night sky, the peaceful village dwarfed by a cosmic spectacle, and the cypress tree reaching for the heavens, it's a scene filled with emotion, turmoil, and a sense of longing. It's a scene that was painted while Van Gogh was in an asylum struggling with his mental health. Yet, in the midst of his struggles, Van Gogh found solace in his art. In a letter to his brother Theo, he wrote, I am seeking, I am striving, I am in it with all my heart. His art was not simply a product of his mental illness, but a testament to his desire to understand and express his experience of the world, in all its beauty and pain. His paintings filled with emotion and symbolism became a mirror of his mind, a tangible manifestation of his mental state. They were his way of making sense of his internal struggles, of finding some semblance of order in the chaos of his thoughts. Van Gogh's life was a testament to the therapeutic potential of art. Even in his darkest moments, he found a lifeline in his art, a medium through which he could communicate his pain and his hope. His art was his sanctuary, his confidant, his solace. Yet it's important to remember that while Van Gogh's art was profoundly influenced by his mental struggles, he was not defined by his illness. He was a man of great passion and sensitivity, who sought to capture the beauty and sorrow of the human experience in his works. His paintings are not just expressions of his mental state, but also of his love for the world, his desire for connection, and his relentless pursuit of understanding. 
Through his art, Van Gogh gave us a glimpse into his troubled mind, showing us the power of art in expressing and understanding mental health. Van Gogh's story is a poignant reminder of the intertwined relationship between art and mental health, and the potential of art as a tool for self-expression, understanding and healing. Art isn't just for the great masters. It's a tool anyone can use to navigate the labyrinth of their mind. Picture this, a safe space where you can explore your thoughts and feelings, and express them in a form that doesn't require words. This is the essence of art therapy. It's a therapeutic technique rooted in the idea that creative expression can foster healing and mental well-being. Art therapy is a blend of the visual arts and psychotherapy. It's an approach that utilizes the creative process to help individuals explore self-expression and, in doing so, find new ways to gain personal insight and develop new coping skills. Art therapy takes on many forms. From painting to sculpture, collage to photography, it's not about creating a masterpiece. It's about the process, the exploration, the discovery. It's about the translation of your internal world into an external form. You see, when we're caught in the throes of anxiety, depression, or other mental health challenges, it can be hard to put our feelings into words. The beauty of art therapy is that it gives you another language, a visual language. It allows you to express those hard to articulate feelings in a way that can help alleviate stress, improve self-esteem and contribute to a sense of personal accomplishment. But the benefits of art therapy extend beyond self-expression. It can also help you to manage behavior, process feelings, reduce stress and anxiety, and increase self-esteem. It's a way to look at things from a different perspective, to see the world through a different lens. The power of art therapy lies in its ability to tap into our subconscious, to bring to light what may be hidden or suppressed. It's a journey of self-discovery, a path to healing that encourages us to confront our fears, our hopes, our dreams. And the best part, you don't need to be a Picasso or a Monet to find value in art therapy. All you need is an open mind and a willingness to explore your inner world. Art therapy is a testament to the profound impact art can have on our mental well-being. As we look to the future, the bond between art and mental health only grows stronger. This connection, once perceived as mere conjecture, is now gaining undeniable recognition in our society. The future of art and mental health is a promising one, filled with possibilities, acceptance and growth. In the world of science, art therapy is making waves as an effective tool for mental health. More and more research is being conducted, and the results are nothing short of astounding. Studies are showing that creating art can reduce stress, improve self-esteem, and aid in expressing complex emotions. It's not just about creating art either. The simple act of viewing art can also have therapeutic effects, helping to lower anxiety and increase empathy. This growing recognition of art therapy's efficacy is not only seen in the scientific community, it's making its way into our everyday lives as well. Schools are integrating art therapy into their curriculum, corporations are offering art-based wellness programs, and hospitals are incorporating art into patient care. This is just the beginning. As we gain more understanding about the power of art, we can only expect its role in mental health to expand. Art is also playing a critical role in mental health awareness campaigns. By giving voice to the voiceless, art is helping to break down the stigmas associated with mental health. Through art, we are telling stories, fostering understanding, and encouraging conversations about mental health. It's a powerful medium that allows us to express what words often cannot. The future of art and mental health is a vibrant one. It's a future where the healing power of art is recognized and embraced. A future where art is not just seen as a form of expression, but also as a form of healing. As we continue on this journey, we can confidently say that art will remain an integral part of our mental health narrative. Art and mental health, two seemingly different worlds, yet they intertwine in the most remarkable ways. This journey has taken us through the depths of human emotion and creativity, revealing how art can serve as a powerful conduit for expressing the inexpressible. We've delved into the complex life of Vincent van Gogh, a man whose art was not only a reflection of his genius, but also his struggle with mental health. His story is a testament to the fact that art can be a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, joys and sorrows. We've also explored the therapeutic power of art, how it can guide us on a path to healing, offering solace and understanding in times of turmoil. As we look towards the future, 
we see a world where art and mental health continue to intertwine, offering new ways to express, heal and understand the human condition. Remember, every stroke of the brush, every dab of paint, every line drawn is a step towards understanding, healing and ultimately expressing the inexpressible.